Here we are. We're at a close haul point of sale right there. And we need to go from here to there. What's that called? Zappy's tapping, right? And then there we are tacking, and then we need to turn downwind so we can start sailing to this mark, right? So we're going to do that. And what's that called? Give you a hint. It's a corn. Falling off. So the skipper's going to say, falling off to a broad reach. And we're falling off to a broad reach. What do we need to do our sails? Yeah, open them or let them out, right? Because we were sailing close haul, which is all the way in. Once we fall off to a broad reach, we're going to use our sails out. Skipper's going to turn down wind. Then we're going to sail down here at a broad reach until we need to do that. What is that called? Yeah. Heading up. <clears throat> to what? No. Close hauls. Right. And then we have to do this, which is called what? Tacking. Tacking, right? Thank you. And then we need to do this. Come down here, or sailing the broad reach, until we do that. And what's that called? Heading up to close off, right? So, what is happening here? Crossing, right? They've never seen um, Lost in Space. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. What is that? Danger. It's Danger Zone, right? So we've got one $40,000 boat crossing paths with another $40,000 boat with students that are learning how to sail, right? That's like taking a $40,000 car with another $40,000 car during driver's ed and saying, hey, let's go see if we can crisscross each other, right? <laughs> so what are we going to do? <laughs> We're going to panic, right? No, we're not going to panic. Two reasons. One, when we're sailing, we're going to be sailing at about five or six knots. You want to know how fast five or six knots are? It's this fast. Right? It's the fast, it's the speed of a fast walk. It's basically about a six minute mile pace. Right? So you're only moving this fast. That means we have time to think. Okay? So we want to not react and we want to think. And then what we need to think is we need to think about who has right of way. Now, um, does anyone remember geometry? Does anyone remember the Pythagorean theorem? Hell yeah. Oh my god, that's geometry. What's the Pythagorean theorem? C squared. Okay, what does that mean? That means right triangles and hypotenuse. And Sokotoa. Okay. Yeah. So now you're getting into like people like Sokotoa. It's not, it's not geometry. That's not like calculus. Yes, it is. Kind of. Kind of. Sokotoa is like so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, etc. Okay. Oh, that's Sokotoa. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant uh, like um, sine, cosine, tangent. That's what that is. Yeah. Sine. Well, yeah. You would use that a lot more in uh, calculus and pre calc than Geometry is about the shapes and stuff. Anyway, the point is that we're getting the admirals. My ADD is good. The point is, Pythagorean theorem, most people just remember a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but then you don't remember what it's for, right? Yeah? Isn't it for the 
It's the high power. Yeah, the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, right? So for is finding out what that that long edge is of a triangle. But it only works with right angles. So basically, in grade school in geometry, we are forcing you to memorize stuff, and then we're forcing you to memorize the exceptions or the rules that go along with that stuff. Why are we talking about geometry and sailing? U.S. Sailing wants me to teach you, whatever side the wind hits first, that is the tack you are on. Okay? So if the wind hits you on the starboard side, you're on starboard tack. If the wind's hitting you on the starboard side, you're on starboard tack. If the wind's hitting you on the starboard side, you're on starboard tack. If the wind's hitting you on the port side, you're on port tack. If the wind's hitting you on the port side, you're on port tack. If the wind's hitting you on the port side, you're on port tack. When we're running, the wind's not hitting the port or starboard side, it's hitting the stern. Is there a stern tack? No, it's port or starboard. So now I have to teach you exceptions to the rule. You guys are in college, you guys are learning a lot. I don't want to fill your brain with useless information. Um, I also, in being dyslexic and, and having to learn new ways and different ways, I'm going to teach you the way that I was taught, the way that I learned. And the way that I learned is, because I liked absolutes, I didn't want to have to think about exceptions. And the way that I learned is, whatever side the boom is on is the opposite tack. So if the boom is on port, you're on starboard. If the boom is on starboard, you're on port. That always works. So, boom's on port, starboard tack. Boom's on port, starboard tack. Boom's on starboard, port tack. Boom's on starboard, port tack. Right? Two things. One, you don't necessarily need to know where the wind's coming from. You can always tell what tack you're on. Two, you can look at that boat over there. There's not a boat there. But you can look at that boat that's over there and see what side the boom is on to know which tack they're on. Okay? And, so, Adjective, which tack are you on? It's an H. Oh, what? It's T H. Which tack? Red because port wine is red. Port tack. Okay? And two ways to define it. Side wind hits first. Wind Exceptions for opposite OPP side of uh, all things. Okay. So which tack are you on? Starboard tack or port tack? Side the wind hits first with exceptions, or opposite side of the boom always. Okay? So now that we can determine the start, starboard tack versus port tack, we need to know, know a little bit about rules of the road. First thing about rules of the road. The person or the boat that has right of way is called the stand-on vessel. Okay? So they are the stand-on vessel. The stand-on vessel must do two things in order to maintain their rights. They must maintain their course and they must maintain their speed. So you have to be sailing a straight or moving a straight line, and you must not be varying your speed a lot, right? To the best of your ability. Which means, if I'm the stand-on vessel, and I'm doing this, the other boat has no idea what you're doing, so they can't avoid you, right? So the stand-on vessel must maintain course and speed to the best of their ability. The other vessel is called the give-way vessel. And the give-way vessel must do what it's called, give way to the stand-on vessel, okay? Now when we talk about rules of the road, in very basic terms, it's like the rule of tonnage, right? The less maneuverable boat is the stand on, and the more maneuverable boat is the give way. So for instance, container ships, those big things that are like football fields long, they're hundreds of thousands of pounds heavy, they're like 50 feet deep in how much they draw and how deep they are in the water, and it takes football fields to slow down and turn and lots of planning, right? They obviously are not maneuverable. They have to stay in the channel. They are the stand-on vessel, okay? 
Everything else must give way. Okay? Um, commercial ships, all commercial ships, ferry traffic, commercial fishermen even, are stand-on vessels to non-commercial traffic, any pleasure boat, sailing or power boat, right? Then you go between sailing boats and power boats, right? Sailboats are obviously less maneuverable than power boats. So sailboats are the stand-on vessel. Power boats are the give-way vessel, right? Now, between a powerboat towing another powerboat versus a sailboat, which do you think is more maneuverable? Sailboat. Sailboat would be more maneuverable than the powerboat towing another powerboat. So that's an instance where the powerboat is the stand-on and the sailboat is the giveaway. Okay? Um, when we go to sailboat versus sailboat, starboard tack has right-of-way over port tack. So I'm going to show you this as a slow. We're going to talk about this uh, acronym. Um, much further on in class because of uh, it's how we know who has right of way, sailboat versus sailboat, but S stands for starboard. Starboard tack has right of way over port tack. So, what tack is this boat on? The boom's going to be on this side. Port line is red, so this boat is on port tack. So this boat right here would be what? <coughs> right? So when these boats are coming together, starboard tack boat, port tack boat, starboard tack would yell, starboard! Port tack boat's gonna say, hold your course. And the port tack boat's gonna head up away from the starboard tack boat. Okay, that's how we're gonna deal with port tack versus starboard tack. Any questions on rules of the road or port tax, rubber tax in this figure eight? Um, we're going to go, so go ahead and you can take a picture.